So, a synopsis for you, Riley, of what has happened so far. So, we have entered Nicodronus. We went through the, uh, the Wuyun Gates and traveled that kind of distance. Uh, met, obviously, with Tario, um, that sort of half-harpy person that you had kind of met. Um, mm-hmm. And you Pardon kind of had that interaction with uh, Franzia. Um, you, you both had kind of seen him talk with some entity of some sort, whatever. You traveled with him um, to Nicodronus where he kind of uh, thanked you all, I suppose, for, like, coming with, um, and had went to go meet with a guy um, who he thought might be able to help you all, uh, like, find a person you're looking for, since Tario had no idea who you guys were looking for. Um, Well, Tario's looking for it. Yes, Pyra. Um, And so he introduced you all to Rizio, um, and Rizio kind of, like, was a little sketchy about it. He was like, hey, I want you to get me a book this woman has, um, legally or illegally. Um, and if you do that, I will tell you this person, I will trust you enough to, uh, give you this person's information and kind of set up a deal or a meeting so you can talk with them for Pyra. Um, so basically, we had done the whole walk through, and uh, the group had kind of went to go talk with this lady, T. Lane Vitos, who apparently has the copy of this uh, this book, um, and had gone through the process of kind of talking with her about what she wanted for it, um, and she kind of noted or said that she would sell it for about a thousand uh, thousand gold um what else was there Uh, y'all said bet yeah you got um they kind of set up a a two-day window of like we'll think about it and get back to you on it um and then went to wander the restless wharf restless wharf excuse me um, where they kind of, uh, Mux kind of got into a bar fight, aggravated, um, because this was to be fun. <laughs> and, um, during that time, they met Lorelai, or Lore, um, which is Joe's character. A kind of, I think, like, I can't remember what she looks like exactly, but a she's a tiefling. A of purple uh, tiefling. Yeah, a drow tiefling. like a drow um, tiefling. Dark purple, yeah, drow tiefling with shock of pink hair. Yeah, it was pink hair, right? About 4'11. Short, but kicked Mug's ass. Uh Um, During this time, I had kind of had Robin and Ira um, settled at the inn, which I think it was the something gull, the withered gull. The withered gull. Right? Yeah, Yeah, okay. The withered gull. um, They were kind of set there because, uh, we kind of figured that Ira wouldn't really want to deal with the city. <laughs> um, you were and, mm, That was the correct assumption to make. Yeah. <laughs> so we had Robin kind of stay with Ira there, and Clark had also stayed there. During that time, Ira, you would have noticed, um, you know, Clark was just kind of hanging out. It was fine. Um, but he had kind of an interaction with some people he seemed to have known and wandered off with them after kind of like assuring you guys that it was fine um and then you waited several hours and did not see him again um and the rest of the party came back asking for him and and it seems that he may have went with some people on a boat (laughs) Clark became a pirate without us with no dog. Yeah. got kidnapped, you could guys. I have, could I have heard like, what they were talking about? Because you said he was talking to somebody before I left. Yeah. Um, so, roll or, uh, hold on. Maybe not roll. Um, you have a high wisdom, or a, a high perception passive. Uh, I Ira, you, you would have heard them talking about, um, just kind of... <sighs> It very much was like, uh, Clark seemed to have recognized these people, and he seemed to have been... He was sort of happy to see them, but it was a little bit like... What would would he have said? Sorry, I'm trying to think about it. Just give me a moment. It 
would have been more along the lines of like he's happy to see them and wanted to know where an item of his was mostly a liar I believe aha uh -huh, I see mm -hmm. they seemed <sighs> the people around him seemed to understand or know what he was talking about um but they said they kind of had lost it along the way. Um, but if Clark came with them, they assured him that he would get it back. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I insight check them? Because <laughs> I can't insight check them. Well, yeah, no one else can That's aside from Ira and Robin. Yeah. Can I? If you'd like to, I suppose. I would have you roll in at, well, no, just roll a straight roll. I was going to say disadvantage, but it's fine. The wonderful thing about the on mobile phone. I got a 27. Nice. Nice. Um, let's see, what would you know from the tone of their voice? Some of it was genuine, um, very much the the story of uh, they lost it around the way. Um, however, it seems that they hesitate for a moment before they talk about, hey, if you come with us, you'll be able to get it back for sure. Um, maybe they're unsure of that fact. You're not sure. Uh, let's see. Okay. They didn't seem to have they any. Uh, they didn't seem to have any sort of like anger towards Clark or anything like that, like hostility. It just seemed like they may have wanted it, something it, more from him. Okay, I think I, I think I got the gist. Yeah. So, is everyone back at the end now, then? Uh, yeah, because we had just talked yeah. about, um, Hyra had just some descending to Clark, and uh, it started freaking out because our boy got pirated. Or she thinks the boy got pirated. Mm -hmm. Are we only staying in one room, or is it like a tent I believe it was. I think it's. Three I think rooms. it's multiple room situation, right? I'm pretty sure it was three rooms that you guys have rented for about a week. I believe. I can't exactly remember. Yeah. I'll have to look. Well, Laura's right. definitely not there because she went home. Yeah, she went home. She lives here. <laughs> I feel like it was three rooms. Yeah, because yeah, Clark goes on sure. rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now just two rooms then. <laughs> oh no, it was it was somebody staying with Clark? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so, right? Okay, I think it's like two rooms then. Are we Some number of rooms. Multiple books. I mean, if we already paid for the room, and we yeah. can get access to a key. Yeah. I mean, he would have probably left the keys with Ira and Robin. Um, Mans did not take most of his things. Oh no! You so stupid! King. Oh, oh, Clark. <laughs> Clark. To be fair, also, all that would have really been left behind would have been a cloak. Um, he did take his instruments with him. Good. How, um, how long has it been since we entered Nicodramas? About a day. A, yeah, nearly a day, I'd say. Because you guys got here and got your rooms and then did some exploring. Um, the day is nearly to an end. I don't think you guys slept. Is there a reason here. why I have 13 hit points? Mayor got I into don't... a fight in the bar, I think, right? No, no Mayor no. didn't fight. Mayor should be at full health. 
I think there should not be at 13 hit points. I think Muggs is the only one who should be fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, Uh, And Lore, but Lore isn't here. Yeah. That's true. Lore is also fucked up. And whose fault is that? Let it be known that Muggs only got her ass kicked because she kicked eight other asses before Lore joined the fight. All right, that's the only reason Muggs got her ass kicked. Mm, Was it eight? Was it eight? Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot. Yeah. It was like, it was eight. <laughs> or it was probably, it was seven, but one of them got, like, Mare used healing word on one of them. I did. I was causing problems on purpose while having a beer. Okay. You were. It was funny. Sometimes you just have to turn puddles of alcohol on the floor of a bar into ice. Yeah. Sometimes okay. you do. Yeah, so where are we? Yeah, so, um, Pyro, you're out of sending, yeah? Uh, yeah, no, I'm out of sending. Uh, that was my last sending. Okay, that. Well? Well, if you're entering or in rooms, Iris just gonna be is just sitting in Iris form, just drop casting and it's been long enough and she's out of all shapes. It's just at the, just on the opposite side of the door where it looks like she's looking at the door. Mm. Well, uh, is she on the first floor or the uh, second floor near the room? Is she what? Oh, uh, where is Iris located right now? Sorry. In the room. Okay, in the room. Okay. Uh, can we go try? Can we go tell Ira that Robin has no seven? Or I cannot understand you. I can. Can we tell Ira and Robin have seven? Or you're big muffled, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to do. One second. Maybe rejoin in join again? Shut up, I'm stuck in. Okay, I'm sorry. I just kept, I don't some you did on my end. I don't on my end. That's Maybe disconnect and rejoin, because you were fine a second yeah. ago. It just started. I think it might have just been Discord being a bit. Discord may have just said no pyro rights. Hello? Oh, it's hmm. still... Shit. You're fine on my end. Oh. And I don't... Oh, oh, now Ren is. Oh. Yeah, I think it's you guys that not me. Okay, now I can hear <laughs> okay, you just fine. Okay, you're better now. You're a lot better now. You no, sound better you, now. It's probably you guys, not me, then. Because if it was from... If, if I was fine on Anna's end, that means... I think it's just Discord. Yeah, yeah I'm I think it's sure just it's Discord. Because it was me and PK that didn't hear you well, and then it was fine for everyone I mean, I couldn't hear you well either. Yeah. I, I, I well also either. couldn't hear well. Oh, Anna could, though. That's weird. In any case, now you sound fine. So yeah. what were you saying before? Uh, yeah, no, that was my last sending. Uh, the one to um, uh, Clark, and now he's a pirate. And I don't, why? Why do you ask? It's just concerning. I wouldn't suggest Clark in particular running off with people who oh, yeah. once no. upon a time knew. Yeah, the kid's gullible as hell. Yeah, no, it's bad Mans, idea. Mans mm-hmm. did just get on a boat and fuck off. Um, yeah. But I don't... I mean, he's not an adult, right? We can't, like... Well, we'll see him again, again I think. I Are mean, it's not as good as... We're on the first floor, but we should grow up soon. Uh, what was that, though? Sorry, go ahead. Um, I do not know the sorry. The thought left my brain not, immediately. It's not as though... Oh, it's uh, not as though we can catch up with him now. Oh yeah. We don't know and where he is. So and we, we have don't to, we have to get a boat too. Like, we don't really have options in terms of doing anything about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe we should just go tell uh the Robin and the Ira about this. Might want to tell the Robin and the Ira. And we gotta oh, yeah. we got yeah. we gotta deliver our gifts. Oh yeah, the gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. We got Robin pastries, right? I think. Yeah, we, there there are definitely still some pastries yeah, left you, over. You got yeah, pastries it. from Lorelai. 
Yeah, pastries for everyone's chat, and no, they are not spiked with magic. There are no magic pastries. This court is rude. Mm -hmm. Dare I say homophobic? Oh, it's has been. Yeah. Alright, let's go up and see the gals. Yeah, let's go see the gals. Okay, who wants to knock on their door? What if they're asleep and then they get a, a, Ari gets upset at us again? Well, she's already probably upset at me for something, so I'll go for it. Yeah. Knock, knock, knock motherfucker. The, <laughs> the other side of the door, you just hear, just open the door. A mugs open oh. the door. <laughs> Again, Iris, Iris is sitting on the floor, like on the opposite side of the on the wall, on the opposite side of the door, probably looking like she's looking at the door. Hey. What? So, did, did have you seen Clark around? Because uh, we got right. some bad news. Yeah, I think he might have been pirated. No, so, mine. Some liar. The people he were talking to was talking to lied about knowing where it was, but I think they just didn't want to admit that they didn't know what it, where it was. Uh, did they seem like they wanted to hurt him or take advantage no. of him? Okay. No. You think he'll be okay out there? Yeah, probably not. But it's okay. We'll see him again. Resounding positivity Perhaps. from the room tonight. I see. Well, I mean, it's Cl like I love Clark, but you know, he. God, that boy is so gullible. He's. He is. Yeah. Yeah. How's your evening in Ben then, Ira? Uh, good. Oh, we got some gifts for you and Robin. Uh, first, wait, who has the pastries? Uh, I do. Yeah. These I are for you and Robin. They're, they're for you and Robin to share. That is exactly and... as many as we received. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> we got you this, because you like bones and stuff. Forgetting that you can't see, she'll hold out a black imp skull. And be like, see, isn't it cool? Then she'll wait. Oh, wait, no, you don't see. Fuck. Um, can you hold out your hand? For like, it's like, the last are a good, like, five second beat before she, like, slowly un uh, offers her hand out to grab the, the, for the thing. Yeah, she'll put the imp skull in your hand. So, it's something I did not mention about it last time. It's surprisingly light, almost kind of like a charcoal consistency. Yeah. But... It is basically some sort of skull shape, Ira. You can feel it with your hands. It's kind of pointy in places and rough a little bit. Yeah, you know, you like you like bones and stuff, and we had some stuff to sell, and so I figured, why not get you something, uh, some, you know, some bones to add to your collection. That's, and that is some bones right there. Yeah, we got you some bones. White charcoal? No, it's not charcoal. It's a, it's, um, it's made out of an imp skull. It's just you know, imps are infernal. Ira is sniffing it. <laughs> you get a good whiff of it. It's very. What would you say? If you've ever Pulpery. sniffed a box of matches, that's kind of what it smells like. Ooh. Oh. Just whiff and then sort of just nods and then puts it in her bag. Yeah. Ira nod of approval. <laughs> uh, so, uh, another thing. We are uh, we are going to be here for a, few, for a few more days. Sorry. We talked to the uh, person who was trying to, who, was, who we were trying to get the book from and we kind of said that we'll come back in a day or in two days to talk to her about it again. What? Why are, why are we... Why do we need a book? So I can find my uh, sibling. You know, Rizio wants it. And Rizio knows where somebody can... Who knows where my sibling is. And yeah. Why are we waiting? 
the book and not just taking it? Because uh, we were dumb and she never faces and that we're interested in it right now. And if we stole it right now, she would know who stole it. Also, I'm pretty sure even if we hadn't done that, the lady has like a lot of shit and like guards and staff and things. And it was like, rather impressive. I don't know, Ira, if you're an expert at urban heists, but I don't know. What I think word maybe means. Mare is the only one here who could lay claim to that title, and I think maybe she needs more than one person in that area of expertise to back her up. So, like, Probably just taking the book. Immediately? Hmm? We wouldn't die immediately. Well, we didn't. Uh, not die immediately. Great. Um, not dying at all. Slightly preferable. Um, well, we did. Like... What huh? of our plans oh. did involve. Well, had... that... oh. Sorry, go ahead. What is the heist? Oh. Ah. Like stealing shit. Yeah, yeah but except like it's in an cool. organized fashion. And also kind of cool. Yeah, like in a in a sexy way. You know? Well, no, I don't think she knows. It's an aura of for of furrowed eyebrows, even though you can't see <laughs> it. As uh, it rolls off. <laughs> yeah, so just like stealing things but competently, you know? With a plan. With a plan, like a plan to steal things, and then you execute the plan and you steal the thing. It's usually like, like down. Yeah, and like during every heist, there's always this one part where it looks like you're about to get caught, right? But that's actually part of the heist. Yeah, and, where you're yeah. always a couple steps ahead and shit, you know. Yeah, and then at the end, there's like a big reveal. I'm gonna guess it's just a police for purposes. Oh, you're breaking up a bit. I didn't get any of that. I was going to point to Robin, who I'm assuming is just asleep for our purposes right now. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to point to her and just because she does that. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could try heisting it, but again, our faces are known now. Ours are. Cause we yeah. That's true. That is true. Uh, I mean, f fact of the matter is, even if we steal it, we're still probably going to have to stay, like, an extra day. Because once we get the damn thing, we need to take it to the guy who's then going to lead us to the other guy. Ambrose. Who's then going to talk to us about Pyra's sibling. Yeah. So it's a multiple step process either way you do it. But it shouldn't be too, for too long. Fine. Thank you. Also, yeah, also how do you feel about the beach? Have you have you been to a beach before? No. Do you want to go to a beach? Because uh, Mayor was wanting to take us to the beach tomorrow. It's like you know the ocean where the ocean meets the land. There's like sand and it's warm and you can like find cool stuff on the ground like she's seashells and rocks and stuff and there's like uh, I don't know. There's just water and sand and and like. Vibes, I guess. Water and sand. Yeah. And a bunch of very annoying birds. Yeah, like the ones that are squawking right now. I was wondering what that noise was. And if you do it also, right, there's not other people. You find the right. Uh huh. There's no other people there? Yeah, people like the beach. But there's also but places I, where you can go to avoid them. Yeah, we could like go a little further a little further down the beach or a little further up the beach or something, a little out of the way and oh, we can make it a picnic. <gasps> beach picnic. 
Huh. Then you have to compete with seagulls. Yeah, that's I'll, true. The seagulls will I'd steal punch our food. a fucking seagull, my dude. That would be funny. It, I bet. <laughs> I'll fight off the seagulls if you don't throw me in the ocean. Do both. I, must we do both? You're the one who suggested it. Oh wait, no, I suggested yeah, you have to do the thing. You you did you were very much the one who suggested throwing me in the ocean. That was like forty five minutes ago. I don't remember things. Yeah. That was an entirely different mirror forty five minutes ago. It yeah. was like it was a whole it was days ago, weeks perhaps. Yeah, weeks yeah. even. Are we going right now? Oh no, it's wait I mean yeah. we could Night Beach isn't isn't bad, but we're it's not like going right now, no. It's 8pm or so. It's like when now? It's like 8pm or so. Mm. Maybe a little later. I think we'd planned on going tomorrow, but... I don't know. Do you sunburn easily, Ira? I'm always... Looks at her. That's, no, that's true. That's true, that's Just looks down at her, like nearly entirely covered body. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That's, uh, yeah. Do you know if Robin sunburns easily? No. I guess you probably wouldn't, would you? Whoops, I am sorry. All right. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Tomorrow, maybe, was when we said we were going to do that. Perhaps. I I D K. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we're going to the beach while we wait for some woman. Think yeah. About yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, we made a new friend. She beat me up tonight, but she probably is going to come to the beach with us. I think you'll like her. She's, 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 she beat me up. It was great. It's the fucking I kick out thing of the bar. <laughs> kicked my ass. But like, I kicked her ass too. Don't worry. I was. It was. It was a pretty fair fight. Mutual ass kicking. She just happened to absolutely destroy me in the end. Which was Pyra's fault because she was the one who offered the free drinks in the first place. Hey, you wanted to fight, babe? I was trying to give you a trying to give you a fight, you know. Hey, I got a fight, and I am forever thankful. I'm just saying, the fact that I lost was entirely due to you. Yeah, but you still did pretty good. You kicked like eight guys' asses. Well, Man. seven, but one guy was twice. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah. Mary, you you uh. You just Let's healed that have... one guy. Yeah, Lore hadn't come in yet, and it, it was... You had to have some fun. I don't think you could actually have fun yet. I, I appreciate that. It really was... Nobody was actually very good at fighting in there. I think your level of very good at fighting and the average person's very level of very good at fighting is not... equal? You know? Could be. Could be. Just wasn't that. It just wasn't that interesting. It used to be a lot more interesting. Like I said, I think it. But like before, before I met a Rakshasa, bar fights were a lot more thrilling. Yeah. 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 Um. So. Yeah. What are you going to do for the rest of the night? It's not that late, so... You guys just want to chill downstairs or do our own things, or... Maybe go just look at the city a bit. Like, there's hours to kill. Ira, you want to go anywhere? I can't look at anything. Well, no, but you could, like, get the vibe.
Yeah. I'm lying here. Okay. Using that as an out because I need to go get gas. Excuse me. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, what do you guys want to do? Another bar fight? No, probably not. I, I'm a little, I'm a little worn out. I mean, I could go again, but it wouldn't be as fun the second time. I don't think I'm all out of, yeah, you know, juice. Actually, my key probably recharged because short rest. I'm sure we've had a short rest. Uh, In any case, I probably wouldn't be as fun the second time, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's fair. Plus, I found out that if you get in too many bar fights in one night, they will just, like, stop letting you into bars. I, that's happened to me before. Really? Yeah. It, uh, like, If it's in a small enough town and you just keep fighting, they, they just stop letting you in. And it's like, bruh. I mean, I mean they're not wrong to stop me from coming. Wrong. Like I do understand they don't want the property damage, and I do respect that. But like, I can see where they're going with it. It does. It does kind of kill the vibe of a night if you get like banned from bars without even being in there. I, that yeah, yeah. That's only yeah. happened to me like once before, though. Uh huh. Like, maybe twice. Okay. And they were all shit bars anyway. Oh, totally. Mm-hmm. I didn't even, didn't even want to drink there, frankly. Babe, you want to drink everywhere, though. I do. I really do. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I got some, got some drinks in when it counted. So, yep, I'm going to go upstairs and sleep or something. You you have fun. Sleep good, yeah. Uh, ready? Yeah. See you in the morning, Mary. Yep. To bed then? Nope. Our, no. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? Mary's just gonna sneak out, wander around. I don't think she's gonna do anything in particular. It's just been a hot second. She's yeah. gonna go poke in places, not cause any fair. problems. Just, just go snoop. Just, just go snoop, investigate, mm -hmm. see if anything's changed of interest. Um, I can PM you some stuff later at some point, but yeah, yeah. To, to save some time, um, just in general, you don't find so anything necessarily of worry or note or anything necessarily. <laughs> so, just yep. in general. Yeah, I didn't think she was going to do anything. I just wanted to go wander. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go enjoy the city a little bit. Yeah. Change the calendar date. So it yeah. Um, before they head up to the room, Pyra will give Muggs a look like, hey, gay stuff, huh? And then she remembers Franzia is there, and they haven't done that. Franzia has, like, you know, Franzia hasn't been there with that with them yet. She's like doing that. So and she's like, fuck. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Muggs has pretty much the same face journey of, like, yes, gay stuff. And then, like, wait. Franzia, shit. Whoa. <laughs> oh. And who's to say? Who's to say? Mm. But yeah. Uh, hmm. Like, do they go back upstairs then, or what? What is? What do you want to do, Bugs? Do you want to go back upstairs or live or what about you, Franzia? I don't really have a... I... 
I could just vibe. I'm honestly, it's interesting. Um, don't really have anything I necessarily want to do. Hey, that's fair. Yeah, I don't really like know the city or anything, and I, I, you know, I think, I think I could just, you know, chill. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then we could just, you know, yeah, hang out. Yeah, how about we order, like, a pitcher one or two, go upstairs and buy it and... And just hang out, yeah. Yeah. That sounds wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, and then... Okay, also, hey, Franti, you know, you're looking pretty tense there. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> would you like a massage or something? I'm pretty good with my hands. You kidding me, dude? <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> uh, <laughs> roll me persuasion and advantage. <laughs> Advantage, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Why are you making this RP choice? <laughs> oh, no, 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 three, so eight. <laughs> oh, oh Wait, I have DM inspiration. I'm going to use it on this. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, DM inspiration. Not 20 for 13. Not 20 for... Oh, it was almost not 20, but now it's a 13. <laughs> that's a... That's a... What? A, what? 13. It's 13. It was almost oh, a not 20. I it was on... Like, it was on the 20, then it rolled to a 8. And I was like, no! <laughs> I thought you said a 32, and I'm like, how is that possible? Bruh. No, <laughs> no 13. Um... Francia will kind of, like... Uh, let's see. What is her? Her inside is not that high. Um, she kind of no, like gives, gives you a look for a minute, and she says, "Well, we'll start with the wine. Maybe that'll help." Yeah. Uh, I don't, also, you know, mugs. You know, the offer's uh -huh. up in TT. You just got your ass beat, babe. And well, I'm never gonna say no. But I think Franzi is right. Let's start with the one. Yeah. I do have a couple of healing spells I can do, too. Well, I'd never say no to that, either. <laughs> Gotta get me some healing spells. Uh -huh. She kind of just, like, nah, cracks her knuckles a little bit. <laughs> just mm -hmm. Nah, we're, we're just don't we set stuff on We stuff we set stuff on fire. It's cool. <laughs> you also make me very fast. Yeah, I do. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, right. Through. Wine. Okay, you guys. Yeah, you guys go upstairs. I'll order the wine. Okay. All right. Yeah. But yeah. When she goes downstairs, she'll just place like, how much would it, how much would she? She'll just say, uh, yeah. Can I open it a tab for the night on the wine? We, we, I don't know how much we'll drink. One of uh, uh, one of my roommates does like to drink a lot, so uh, uh maybe keep the tab open for the night. The Dorish man behind the bar, uh gives you a nod, um, and just kind of basically asks you in Dwarvish just to, like, write your name on a piece of paper and he'll he'll keep track of, um, how much you guys have taken. Okay. Just to let him know when you guys are ready for whatever. So, yeah. You're free to open a tab, if you'd like. But, yeah. You can get a couple pitchers of wine if you'd like, and some some cups. Yeah. All right. Please say we are time skipping to morning yes. because I. Yeah, no. But one okay. thing, I will just pop, kick the door up and be like, "Party time!" with two pitchers of wine. <laughs> <laughs> All Perfect. right. Okay. Time skip to the next morning. Oh, yeah. It I'm gonna is, switch my spells out now. It is the eleventh of Susar. Because I Maybe don't think I'm going to need Fireball in the in this city. Not right now, at least. Yeah. Hold on. Actually, no, I'm going to switch out Fire Counter Spell up to Fireball, just in case. Uh, I'm going to send you guys a thing in one of the chats. Hold on. Yeah. Clairvoyance? Do I need Clairvoyance? No, I don't have enough money to use Clairvoyance. Uh, Imagine being too poor which... for Clairvoyance. Well, it's because it requires a focus that uh, an object that it is a hundred gold pieces, and I do not have a hundred gold pieces right now. Mm. Fortune. Fortune. 
I forget that I, with one level of druid, can change spells. And I've not done it once this time. Yeah. <laughs> fortune's favor. Cool object. Now I think I've got a nice spell. Cool, cool, cool. What's up, Actually, guys? I'm taking my spells unarmed strike and unarmed strike. <laughs> I no, I'm going to replace chromatic orb. Yeah, I'll replace chromatic orb with attack magic. I'm also gonna prepare deflect missiles and uh, slow fall. Uh, why don't you prepare stunning strike? I should prepare stunning. You're right. You're right. I yeah. should prepare stunning strike. Cast, I mean, do you think the spellcasters believe useful me? Useful when you remember to use it. What was that? Deflect missiles is only re relevant when you remember to use it. Uh, yeah. All of Muggs' features are only useful when she remembers to use them, and she hardly ever does, so... <laughs> but that's just me playing any character with any class. Alright, let me see here. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have anything to prepare, right? Oh yeah, she does. Nope. Never mind. Right? Oh no. She has to prepare stuff. That's right. Paladin, paladins prepare spells. I never remember. Do they? That. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Which makes them infinitely better than rangers, the, yes. the, the other half caster God. who can't. Fucking rangers need to be able to do that shit. Or like bards or something. Because that's just wrong. <laughs> Bards should be able to prepare spells as well, I feel. I mean, I think it makes sense for bards, because it's like... Well, um, because there's something that made bards a little more a little better in the way where they, uh, they had the uh, spell versatility thing. And spell versatility, every class had spell versatility, where it was like, once per long rest, you could, uh, you could uh, switch out one of your spells for another a spell of a similar level. So they had that for bards, and that was so nice. But then they got rid of that with, when Tasha's came out, and that was very disappointing. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, even Rangers had that, I think. I don't remember. You know, Frenzy has never used a chill choose something else. Oh, that'll, that'll come in handy, maybe. What's okay? Oh, yeah, she's. Oh, gotta get rid of my. Yeah. Goodbye, in school. Take long rest. Confirm. All right. Gods, I'm so used to having a character that actually has initiative, and Francia having just a plus one is painful. <laughs> yeah. Uh... That's fine. Ugh. All right. Sorry, me, me as Ren is tired. Um, what do you guys want to do with your day now? What would you like to do or poke your nose in? I would probably smack mugs with a pill in the morning and be like, Beach day! Ah, fuck. Son of a bitch. Beach day? Yeah, beach day. Alright, am I gonna get thrown in the ocean? Uh, maybe. Also, I don't have a, uh, like anything to actually swim in. Should we go by... Go buy clothes to swim in. I don't have guys. anything either. Yeah, we should probably go talk to shop. Get... Yeah, let's go get everyone to go get swim suits or something, and maybe uh, grab a picnic. But like, cause there's maybe buy a peanut picnic basket. Just go out and just vibe a bit, and yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe yeah. we should bring the fireworks. Oh, is this? I mean, it's pretty light out. I mean, but who knows how late we'll like if we're there at night? You know, it's true. We could do a full day and then fireworks at night. Yeah. Although, what do you think? Oh, look, well, Mare. Let's go get Mare. Let's let's go find Mare. She's not Mare. in this room. Mare. Yeah, Mare. 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 I just throw something at the door. Mare. <laughs> it's just a thud. Welcome back, Riley. Hello. Mare. Beach day. Beach day. Oh. Okay. Hey, how late were you awake? Come on. Bright and early. Let's go. I don't like the mornings. Don't oh, you love seeing the sunshine? Shots. 
and we gotta go swimsuit shopping. Like, I, I, I'm not gonna go swim in my wizard's cl- these clothes. You know, these are like made of silk and stuff. Yeah, um, I know where that stuff would be in theory. <laughs> Yeah, Mayor, why do you always sound more hungover than me when I drink like three times as much as you do? Uh, because when you wake up in the morning, you're a person. <laughs> True. As opposed to what? I don't even know. Okay, I was confused. <laughs> Are we all together? Yeah, yeah we are. Because you guys are. Yeah, because you share a room with uh, Mare, and they just went yelling at Mare's door. <laughs> yeah. Robin, Ira, also get up too. Beach day. Beach, Beach day. day. Beach day. And maybe fireworks. Are we bringing maybe those? fireworks for the okay. beach night? <laughs> Yeah, if you want to, if you want to stay tonight, maybe we can try and do fireworks. But uh, we can also just vibe and do other. There's we could start a bonfire, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah beach day. I'm not sure if those are legal. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It's fine. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure <laughs> when it out. When has a little illegality stopped us, Mayor? You would probably know at least a little bit about it. I mean, bonfires are allowed um, at the beach. Okay. However, uh, they need to be not huge and not distract from like the I no it's not it's not here that has it is it no it is um the like lighthouse thing it needs to be small enough to where it won't distract the ships when they're coming in from sailing um so you can't have like a gigantic bonfire and you also need to make sure to kind of take it down when you're finished with it so that's kind of what you would know as, like, factual. And also, nowhere near other buildings. It needs to be in sand and stuff, so. <laughs> That's what you would know, at least. <laughs> but we're probably not going to go too overboard, right? For probably it damage the rest so. of them. <laughs> we'll be, we'll be chill. I mean, we'll be as chill as we always are. I mean, when's the last time we've gone overboard? Literally cannot remember. I've never honestly gone overboard. Uh, I don't even need to tell you the silent judgment that's pouring off viral right now. What was that? Also, I don't even—I don't even need to tell you the silent judgment that's pouring off viral right now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Yeah. All right, let's judge us. I'm not fine. Did Did y'all give Laura time to show up? Did we? Don't I would assume think so. I mean, you could have if you wanted to. Yeah, we could have. I think, I think we would have. Do we probably, know where yeah. her, where she lives, or did we? Mm, you did not see her. where she went. No. Yeah, we. Yeah, we well, just gave her our uh, location. Right. We you we saw, can like, say come over she, like. But. It's like just come just in the been, morning. Like, come over tomorrow morning, and then she could figure out what that meant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're so helpful. Yeah, yeah. we're. Literally the best people to be friends with. We, we we're make so great plans and are so organized. Honestly, she has known worse. She has known worse. I, I have a feeling that the the neurodivergency in this party right now uh, contributes to the oops we forgot. <laughs> these, these characters, these players, neurodivergent. What? 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 No. There's no What's neurodivergencies that? in my world. What? <laughs> Also, what was your question, Riley? Oh, Lord, have, have you all warned, like, informed Lord about his iris, general iris nest? Nope. Well, that'll be we've, fine. we've mentioned her in the vague sense of, like, oh, Ira's gonna hate this. Yeah. But I don't think we've given her any more information about, like, who she is, what she uh, is. She, what she her... knows Ira is blind, but she doesn't know her Basically but- anything else. Cool, 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 cool. So, is, is Laura showing up to the inn, or are we going to Laura? 
I think we're sh- uh, Laura's showing up to the uh, end. Laura's showing up at the end. Cool. Uh, what what time in the morning is this? Um, that would depend on when people wanted to necessarily wake up. Um, I'd say I think Pyro would have probably slept in after the drinking last night instead yeah. of going out to work. So I'd say Pyro wakes up at dawn. Yes, I'd say then with the rest of you, probably between the hours of like eight a.m. and ten a.m. Probably. Oh, okay. So Laura's definitely. She's awake. Uh, she's awake and she's up and about. She keeps adventure time. Yeah. She's got shit to do. We uh, we keep adventure time when we're not like in a city. Yeah. And then we binge drink, binge drink, and sleep in. <laughs> yeah. Give each other massages. <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> and then there. some of us binge drink and sleep in while others sit in the inn and hate being in a city yeah. is that better yeah, there, we go. <laughs> there we go there we go uh... oh. well I mean Ren if you'd allow mm. I'd probably say that she's actually downstairs and probably like has ordered breakfast she could do that yeah the the in itself. Yeah, because she knows the in, and she's just vibing. Um, I don't. What languages do does Lorelai speak? I don't exactly remember, or understand. Uh, celestial, common, Elven, and infernal. Okay, what you would know is that this barkeep, um, you can understand what he says. You know it's dwarvish, but it seems that he understands yeah. everything you are saying. Um, but you do not understand what he says. <laughs> but he seems to get the gist of what you need, and, um, you're able to pay for your meal. It'd probably be, like, two silver. Yep. And look, she's mostly just doing this so that there's not any fuck around and... Yeah. Laughing at Pyra's um, pitiful persuasion checks again. <laughs> yeah. She was trying so hard, but unfortunately, she, she can't actually be smooth when she, she wants has to be. Such good yeah. persuasion, too. <laughs> it was a dice, I tell you. Yeah, rip babe. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so. Maybe Laura, maybe Laura's already downstairs. We haven't checked yet. Let's go. Let's go downstairs, guys. Mm-hmm. You're able to make your way. All oh, right, I already get to meet Laura. Yeah. Oh yeah, Laura's cool. Let's let's go see if she's there. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ira, find her. Ira, she's chill. All right, like she's chill. Ira is already walking. All right, cool. <laughs> Yeah, you're able to make your way down, and there is indeed a short, uh, drow-ish tiefling sitting there eating breakfast. May I describe Ira to Lore if Lore does yes. not know? Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Please. So, uh, coming down the stairs, you see like a uh, about like five fight blonde woman with like her hair is like very curly and it's also very very messy there's like twigs and dirt in, in it and uh she's wearing like the gray uh pride silk robes and has like a has a bag on her side and uh, most notably she has a bird skull uh just sort of tied around her head so you can't really see her face you just see like her mouth which is well like land brown <laughs> and she also kind of has, like, a little circlet underneath the mask. Yeah. So, 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 a pretty big bird skull, right? Very big. It's, like, there's, like, a, it's held in place by, like, a sack that goes through the eyes. Yeah. Neat. It's a, it's a big-ass bird skull. Mm-hmm. And she's also holding a staff. Does anybody else um, want to describe their characters to Lorelai? 
Did we not do Wait, that? Did we describe them last? Did we describe them last time? Um, Joe uh, or no? We didn't fucking describe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think oh, it was here. because it was towards the end of the session, so it was all kind of chaos. But you can here. Do I'll do now. a one hit. I'll I'll do a three for a, a three for right here. Uh. I have seen the art. That's part of why I didn't need descriptions. Share the art one more time, okay. though. Just go you know, for just, it. It's good yeah. art. In case you just for it to you know refresh your memory. Oh, are you going to show the one of Franzia and, uh... That's my favorite yeah. fucking art. Look yeah. at that shit. Look at them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. However, Mare... Where is Mare's art? Where is that in D&D artwork, right? Because Robin drew Mare. Robin did draw Mare at some Cat point. drew Mare. Yeah, yeah, Cat drew Mare. Listen. <laughs> Robin. Robin, the character, <laughs> they Robin also have drawn Matt. Mare. Cat, funny, the but... person, definitely drew Mare. <laughs> At the it human being, yes. They draw yes. very crude stick figures. <laughs> <laughs> stick and poke art yeah. of the mare. <laughs> God, remember, remember how excited she was to write a letter? That was so cute. Yeah. It was. Robin, so my beloved. so fucking cute. And um, then, Riley has Art of Iris, too. I get that. Hey, dude, I'm looking for it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here's the goblin. The Roblin. Roblin, if you will. <laughs> we can just assume that he's behind Ira or something? If yeah. I don't know. She's very much sticking close to Ira. So it's actually probably on seeing um, Mugs, Pyre, Frenzy, and Mare, who she has met before. The law does kind of perk up and possibly wave them over. Um, today she's not actually wearing like the heavily padded coat and all that from yesterday. Um, she's in... I think at this point she's actually in a sundress that has like a scattered pink pattern across it. Um, there is a jacket over it, but she's not. Okay. But you also said beep day, so she is not technically set up for a fight. Although you do notice that she does have a fell uh, a sword. Leaned against the table next to her. It is currently she. Well, using the general here. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, Pyro will wave over to, uh, uh, you know, wave back at, um, at uh, Lore and be like, hey, Lore, glad you made it. Damn, you're here. How long have you been here? Hey. Not too long. I. Wasn't sure if this was. Uh, I can't get my voice to do the right thing. She's got. She does have an accent, but I can't get my voice to do it, so it's fine. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Um, haven't been here long. I worked on. She she kind of shrugs. She she just leaves it. She trails off and. She just nods. No, that's fair. Glad we didn't keep you waiting too long. We want to go shopping today. <laughs> yeah. Again, mostly because we don't know how to... So do you know what about buy, buy beachwear here? Because I'm pretty sure most of us have like one, maybe two sets of clothes from being generous um, each because of, you know, traveler stuff. Do you yeah, no, that's have more than my beachwear at all? Or... If you want to get overcharged, you can... Buy it at the, uh, buy it near the beach. But if you don't, you probably want to go. She probably knows more specifics then. Okay. Uh, yeah. Why don't we try over there then? And also, 
thinking about you know if any places here sell like pre-made picnic baskets because do we need you know of? food food beach party picnic ira picnic yeah picnic. <laughs> where we take our food outside and we eat it so it's basically like how we eat our meals almost every single day but this time the food starts in a basket and it's What's like the... not hard pack and jerky it's slightly better food than we normally eat yeah what is the point of that makes it's us just, happy you know, yeah experience and you would be would that make you out Oh, oh right. Ira, this is the person we told you about. Uh Lore. We met her yesterday at the uh at, well well mug she kicked Mug's ass, frankly. Yeah. Um, yeah, she did. Yeah. I got lucky. Thanks. You're, you're, uh, turns her head so it looks like she's looking at you. And it's just Again, it's just a weird stare. <laughs> yep. Um. She does not say anything. She's, Would you is... like me to step forward and shake your hand? No. I'm sorry, I couldn't actually hear that. Pretty sure she said no. Okay. Fair enough. I wanted to offer. <clears throat> I will mention that the other thing Law has on her is there seems to be a small wooden case on her belt it seems like it's not normally there but it's there for this purpose noted ran i'm texting you what it is okay okay then. no it's just beach day mayor's got all of her shit Oh, I think there's, I think there's also a pack tucked under the table, but it's not. She isn't like fully armored and. All right, all right. Give me a second. I need to let the cat in. Also, would you guys like cat stream? Jasper. Or story. Beauty. Jasper. 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 Buster Jasper. Nope. I am scooping you. Scooped? Scoop cat. Scoop, 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 scoop. Also, if I may, like, mini Yeager mm -hmm. Robin for a second, you would probably go and introduce herself and introduce Ro Ira as Robin's daughter, as per usual. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I think Lorelai just kind of nods along and she's not going to question it. She, she, she knows found family when she finds it, <laughs> when she sees it. This is, yeah. this is my daughter. I got, I, I found her in a crib two years ago. We lived in the cave together. <laughs> yeah. The cat is being harassed. Harassed per. Harassed per the Jasper. Tumby. Oh, the baby. Tumby, Tumby. Tumby. It's a big baby. It's a big baby. Big baby. baby if I actually baby. get her not stretched out. Huh? Ah, hmm. no, no. G give me one more second and then I will let you run away, okay? 
Oh, Harasper. Oh, she's like, still please. Want to leave. <laughs> oh, baby cat. Uh, I had to walk away for a second. Where are we? Where are we at right now? Uh, introductions to Lorelai. Just to Lorelai. Yeah. Um, from an out of character perspective, Lore is a fairly short. Teeth like sort of dark purple enough that it almost seems to turn out black skin. Um, you can see a lot more scars this time than th- as there are scars that run. Uh, there are some scars that run diagonally down her arms, and um, there's quite a long one across her face. Um, no. pink hair that is no. shaved on one side. Purple eyes. Her tail has, um, it's almost got a spade shaped at the end. And yes, as Jamie keeps pointing out, she does have hoops. I cannot understand you. I'm sorry. I am echoing somewhere. <laughs> um, may I do an insight check on more? Yes. What are you trying to glean? General. Who the fuck is this person? And why are we talking? Okay. Do, 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 do. 17. Also, I want to Netflix. <laughs> what was that? Just because I'm curious. I want to know what she smells like. I'm very curious. <laughs> um, I mean, that one I can give you. There's, with her, there's a bit of a scent of, um, Oil, probably weapon oil. Um, very, very sort of solitaire at the moment. There's some honey and there's a faint undertone of something a little bit. I don't know if I want to describe it as acrid or slightly, sh- or just slightly sharp. Um, I don't know how many tieflings Zara has encountered, but I have encountered exactly none. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, yeah, there's a slightly a slightly sharp undertone. Uh, also, one other thing that I should have mentioned in description, she's actually got, she's got a set of horns coming from the a brow, and then a couple, and then, like, two more further back on her skull. Ooh. Neat. But yeah, also um, just, like, general vibe and threat level. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, uh, that's probably something you can uh, give okay. out, Joe, if you'd like. Um, her vibe at the moment seems relaxed or like y'all were, uh, like, she was expecting to meet you guys here and had been re- invited. Threat level? Either. She certainly seems to be at least on par with you guys. Um, but there's something a little weird. There's something a little what? Something a little weird. I'm getting weird vibes. Interesting. <laughs> the Vegas of weird. I would, I would. Yeah, say- I, I don't want to elaborate more, but. That's fair. Yeah. I would say it's basically, they seem to, they don't seem to be threat, and at least, it, like, they would attack you right now, um, threat, and, uh, just odd feeling? I mean, it's probably something that you may have felt before, 
but you're not sure. Um, a lot of people. The make draw, it I, I will. Yeah. Uh, the one thing I will mention as far as the scent is the dress has a bit of a lemony kind of scent to it. Ah. I do think it would be slightly funny for it to be noticeable that I just sort of sniffed her. <laughs> Law yeah. doesn't react. Law's just very much like, yep. Um, and I think it's actually very evident to everyone else who's around that Law doesn't react. She just kind of sits there and vibes. Mm -hmm. So I mean, specifications. Sorry, what was that? Do I meet your specifications? And a little bit of a teasing torn. You smell weird. <laughs> I get that a lot. Well, not a lot. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, and this is Robin, the one hiding behind uh, uh, Ira. She's been quiet today. Don't know why. <laughs> she'll, I, I get the feeling <laughs> she'll talk more in like a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> she just needs some caffeine. Yeah. I'll give you some caffeine before we leave. Do they get to go cups, you think? Oh, that's true. Maybe. Did you go cups exist? What a just... wonderful idea to implement into our waffle houses. Yes. Well, they're, they're, they're made of waffle. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> they're yeah, made of waffle and soggy. And soggy. Yes, exactly. Um, Soggy waffle house? Yep. I mean, some of the street vendors have things you can take to go. I don't necessarily know if they have teas or caffeinated. Okay. You're fine. I'll wake up eventually. Shopping? Yeah, <laughs> let's go get some stone suits. And other beach stuff, I guess. I don't know. Right. Sure. Wait, Mayor, do I need I don't need the sunscreen, right? I'm pretty like I'm naturally I don't think I burn. Hmm. Would I know if I need sunscreen, DM? I mean Aren't you half fire toffee? I would say I am a fire Pyra, toffee. No, mostly because <sighs> you already fire toffee. You, that and also you have fairly dark skin. You don't necessarily burn that bad. Yeah. You might need like some lotion at some point, but nothing that okay. you necessarily. You have quite we'll a bit of protection. You'll be fine. She, okay. She also <laughs> said, "Yeah, I don't know if the sun will burn me, but uh, I mean, it hasn't burnt me so far, but like." Fire doesn't burn me, so that's bad. So maybe the sun won't. I think I'll be fine. But we just, this opens up a great debate about whether UV radiation is qu classified as uh, radiant damage or or fire damage. Right. <laughs> in Dungeons and Dragons. In, in short that's term, all... it's fire damage. In long term, it's radiant. Or t maybe necrotic. <laughs> all radiant damage is just, sun it's just sunburns. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just a really bad yeah. thunder. You can get skin cancer it's from either, taking too much radiant damage. Let's go. God. <laughs> How can you imagine? This goes in. This time, I mean, the like biology spell, theory, by the way. <laughs> if the daylight spell does radiant damage, and it's supposed to make daylight happen, or not daylight, mm. dawn. One of. Mm. That's true. Oh. No, that tracks. Mm -hmm. Were you gonna see? So, oh, we headed out. Oh yeah. All right. 
Out of time. Out time. Ira is... When it is mentioned that we are leaving, going into the outdoors, Ira is uh, going to turn into a cat. Uh, she turns into like a like a cream colored uh, tabby with uh, notably does not have eyes, uh, and just rides on Robin's shoulders. Hmm. Oh yeah, she does that a lot, by the way. Fair enough. I. Yeah, it's how she's comfortable. She's just chilling. Fighting. Right. Well, to her. Swimsuit. 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 Now, I have a question. Uh huh. Is this going to be a sit on the beach day, or is this going to be a we might want a boat? Oh, wait. Boat, huh? No, boat? Boat option? I never thought of a boat. Hmm. I don't, I don't boat, think we really. need do, do we need a boat? What's up? Like, huh? What, uh, you what? don't need one, but it can add to the experience. You can take it to other parts of the beach. You can go out further on the water. Hmm, we could go further down the beach, huh? Mayor. Yeah? Do we, do we want a boat? <laughs> I'm always a fan of boats. We just shouldn't go too far out. It's also a good way to make sure we don't, like, have to deal with people. Mm. And if we were to set off fireworks, I mean... Fireworks on a boat sounds fun. Uh, What are they gonna do, Chase? If we're setting off fireworks, we're doing the boat. Alright, then then I guess we're doing a boat. Shit. Uh, Don't worry about hiring a boat. I'll have it covered. Oh. Okay. You sure? She, she kind of drums her fingers on the wooden case thing. Let's. Uh huh. You got a boat in there? You got. I feel like boats are normally bigger than that, but like I could be wrong. Why don't you wait to find out? I mean, I'm just saying, like, I've been around a couple, but like, even the little swamp boats we use back at home, they're bigger than that. Maybe it's like a Leoman's tiny boat or something. Leoman's tiny. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I just made it up. There's a lot of Leoman things, so. Is Leoman that- like a dude? Yeah, he's a wizard. He makes spells. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Wizards. Hmm. I, I only know one wizard. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, I do. <sighs> anyway, Beach swimsuits. Beach. Also food. Food, food. caffeine. Food. All right. Chocolate so, montage. Where do you guys? What do you guys want to go looking for first? Maybe swimsuits, right? Swimsuits. That's because that way we can just get get those and then grab the food and then go to the beach. Swimsuit. All right. Let's see here. See, I want to take a look. See at uh, let me see. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, sorry, that expensive. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking at what it would be for like really cheap stuff. So- oh yeah, yeah, that would be just fine. So. Uh, depending yeah, because we're specifically leading them, they're leading them to where they won't be overcharged for being tourists. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of places that you would, like, think to bring them, Lorelai, uh, that, you know, some places they, they, they upcharge. Like, you know for a fact that for a quality swimsuit that is not going to fall apart or just, you know... They have more options and things like that. The range for that is at most a gold or two. Um, okay. If they want something fancier, maybe five gold, but it's really not uh, much of an improvement. It would mostly be like a more, uh, like you're getting more pieces with your outfit, like maybe a um, like a shawl to put over it or like glasses and stuff like that to go along with it. Like it's. It's more of an ensemble than just the swimsuit itself. 
Yeah. Um, Whereas the places closest to, uh, closest to the beach boulevard charge. Yeah. They too would... much because they, uh, they charge tourists. Exactly. Um, and a lot of the places too that are like inns for tourists that you would know of, uh, generally have places that would have like knickknack shops and freaking uh, as well as yeah. like swimsuits and gear and things like that, and they are upcharged close to like five gold, and you're like, uh, no. That's dumb. <laughs> oh, the tourist tax. Ah, uh, yes. They will take advantage of you and your coin. <laughs> now, to be fair, I, as Joe, have opinions about tourists, so... Mm -hmm. That is fair. Let's see. Um, actually, I will remove the that and the that. Um, I'm basically removing everything except her sword because she didn't really want to bring. I don't want to do that. Armor and maul and crossbow and blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure there is probably some sort of storage along the beach of one of those places that you can keep your stuff, or you can just go back home and leave it there, if you'd like. Uh, yeah, that that was uh, a lot of her stuff got left home. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to replay the sound because it stopped. Yeah, it did. It sure did. Oh, sorry. Why did why did Mare want to do beach day again? Was it there a specific reason? Beach day. Oh, okay, that's fair. Be because of beach episode, that's why. We yeah. need beach episode and reminiscing. Be yeah. There we go. And. The idea of the second day you meet this person, you're just like, hey, come along to our beach episode. Mm -hmm. But yeah, everybody who wants a uh, swimsuit, you are more than uh, welcome to buy one. Uh, depending on what you want, it would be between like five silver and one gold apiece. Oi! Okay. Uh, Pyro will just buy one for one gold. Okay. Hey, yeah, get a pretty nice swimsuit. I shall do the same. Alright. So, I think Frenzy will probably yeah. buy one for gold as well. I mean, uh, out of character, as far as mugs, there is probably the option of, like, um... Possibly, um, like the short wetsuits, the wetsuits that only come up to, oh, like like part way down the arm and leg, for her modesty. But yeah. otherwise, full cover. Yeah. Can I get one of those around? I... Yeah. All right. I will do so. <laughs> it's about the modesty. Hell yeah. Which fair enough, but I wanted to kind of give that option as Thank something you. that. Thank you for reminding me, Joe. I would wear something like this, but with like shorts, with minus the hat. Nice. I think yeah. I think you got to go all in on the hat. Yeah, I mean, if you're sending a picture with the hat, I feel like I'm. <laughs> I feel okay. like a hat. Just, though. Hat, just a hat, Ren. Um, like depending on the hat, probably like fucking like the one in the picture. Copper. It's not okay. that expensive for a hat. Let me okay. see what, if I can find an image for Francia. Then I'll make sure to put beach hat and bikini in my other possessions. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta. Let's see. It's Why right under it? two weather-resistant cloaks. <laughs> Amazing. Let's see if I can find Francia's. She wouldn't be in a bikini, but she'd be in something... Slightly modest, yeah. I think, right? No? Oh, is she gonna go spicy? A little spicy as a treat. Good. Um, little spicy as a treat. Nice. Oh, hey, a 
I like that actually. Hold on. Maybe. Maybe. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. What does she. Uh, hold on. I just realized that kind of has the same bottoms as Pyrus. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's see. Sim suit. Sim suit. I feel like she'd, she'd go for something more colorful. You know what? Let's go for this one. Something like that. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. <gasps> nice. Mm. Maybe, like, one of those, like, somewhat sheer, like, um, like, kind of beach wraps, you know? Mm. Where they're, they're more like a shawl than they are, uh, anything else. Just for comfort. Yeah. I think this is a Jasper, absolutely oh, not. What was that, Anna? I am giving up with the internet being helpful. This is as close as I could find. Just, I was originally thinking, there's this one image of a 1920s, like, bikini and skirt outfit that's really cute that was, like, the right vibe. I give up. This is, um... it's from Target. It's fine. It's Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. I can see marrying that. Yes. Sure. Google image is not helpful. What a surprise. Half the time it just looks like Playboy ads. <laughs> yup. Oh, it's unfortunate. I was thinking about having That's for what? her in like one of those like cutout ones. Let's see. If I can find the one that <laughs> Oh of. god. This like, just this this session really is just an excuse for all of us to look up pictures of bikinis, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Hold on. I got Luckily, some... Ira's a cat. Ira is a cat. Here, let's see. Oh, oh Robin. I assume Robin will also want to go swimming, so Pyro will pay for a Robin swimsuit. This is a little too much of the chest showing, but that was kind of the vibe I was thinking about going with. But I'm like, ah. oh, but I might yoink that for what Law's got, actually. Sure. Yeah. Mm. That is a that is an image you have just sent. Okay, I need to stop mm. the yeah. loop. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> God. <sighs> Look at us mm -hmm. go. Okay. Also, Riley, I, I don't know what your preference is, but you really have just walked into, like, Hi, at least Riley. four lesbians. Uh... And uh, Anna's like, surprising. Riley, Anna, I don't know what you guys is. Simply here to vibe and laugh at you guys. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All I know is Anna queer. I'm just not sure what flavor of queer. I never bothered to ask because Anna's just vibing. I am. One second. I just got sent this. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. yeah the oh, yeah. Yeah. They arrested the boat. They God. arrested the boat. Fucking hell. I just find it funny because wasn't there an excuse that it got, like, blown around by the wind and then stuck there? Just okay, to be fair, that area does have a lot of wind. Yeah, it does, and I'm just like, bruh. To do that to somebody, though, does kind of suck, but also they did ruin trade for, like, a two-week span. I think it's really funny, though. It is very funny. <laughs> it's hysterical. They arrested the boat. I would like to arrest a boat. Well, depending on how this goes, you might get the chance. God. I'm gonna arrest a fucking boat. Remember when the Mighty Nine arrested a boat? Remember when the Net Mighty Nine became pirates in like 45 minutes because they done fucked up? Yep. Yeah. Listen, I admire <laughs> that level of energy. Riley. <laughs> Look at all those lesbians. That's us at the 
guys are able to collect your clothing with little to no uh, disturbances. <laughs> God, that was a weird way to phrase that. Um, <laughs> what else would you... You guys said you wanted to go look for food, Jasper, right? I'm not letting you out of the front yeah, door. To get, yeah, to get some food to bring to the beach. With some ready-made stuff. It would probably be cheaper for you to collect the stuff yourself instead of going for like ready-made prepared things. Um, and yeah, Laurel, that's true. I would tell you this because obviously they are preying on the uh, the tourist. <laughs> um, well, no, but... now I do need to be clear. She, uh, clear. she does say tourist derogatory. Uh, she does say tourist, but with a tone of derogatory. Tourist derogatory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she uh, she does not fully say tourist derogatory, but it is very much that tone of tourist derogatory. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, let's see here. Um, she'd probably be able to take you guys around and kind of, um, show you, like, what would you say? More like, um, local and more uh, not delicious good lord like a better quality meal i suppose um man my brain is not working right now is it she she does get briefly tripped up because it has been a bit since she's been back and some things yeah. have rearranged mm -hmm. and she's open about that she's open about okay i haven't been back here in a while so i don't know who's still gonna be open no, that's cool. That's fair. Mm -hmm. But I'd say for how many people did you want to feed with this meal? Everybody? Uh, or a everyone. Extra? Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's um. Oh god, how many people That'd is be that? About that's six people. One, if it's Robin, two, three, Ira, four, um, five. Six, seven, including Franzia, so seven. Um, also, did DM, you on that Robin note. in there as well? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, there's seven uh, of us, holy fuck. On that note, um, would, I, th the wording for the item says can fit four comfortably. Can we make that work to seven, or am I better off going with the big boat? Um, I would say big boat. You couldn't, you could not fit seven people in that, in that small boat. That would not work. In a rowboat, yeah. I have tried. <laughs> Does not feel good. No. It is very tippy. Yeah. It's fine, we can swim. Not all of us need to breathe. <laughs> uh... Not all of us need to breathe. That's a quote. <laughs> I just stopped in the middle of a sentence, didn't I? Um, uh, feeding seven of us yes. with a pretty good. Yes. So that would be about if you're going with good food. That would be about a gold a person, I would say. So at least. Okay, seven. we'll we'll cover it. Yeah. She'll do ten and get some stuff we can, like, graze on through the day. Mm -hmm. Remove. Okay. Listen, she, she knows that one of the ways to make new friends is by is by providing food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is good to do that. And beating one of them up. Yeah. I think that was a bonus, honestly. Yeah. 
Um, set that to names only. Um, All right. So you have your food. You have your uh, your outerwear. Um, was there anything else you guys wanted to go grab or or do? Oh, what is it? Fingers? Question mark? You wanted to what now? I said nothing I can think of. Okay. Question mark. So you just I don't know about the other yeah, people. Yeah, I think so. Just wanted to head off to the beach then? So, think about Riley's typing the thing. Hmm? Riley is typing the thing. Also, <laughs> oh, I'm not. It's relevant. It's not relevant. Oh, okay. Although, technically, we do have two small characters, and it does say four medium comfortably, so could we wriggle that around a little bit for... Wait, what? what, what Listen, I we... love Ira Cat so much. Um, He's very what, soft, what but also very dirty. What did you say, Joe? I did not hear you. Or Technically, we do have... We do have two smalls, and it very specifically specifies four medium creatures comfortably. Uh, unless Ira stays, is Ira staying as a cat? On the boat, yes, but that'll last. So, it's, she has her wild shape lasts for four hours. Okay. Or five hours, four hours or four hours, one of those two. I okay, could yeah. justify that seven people could fit on a boat meant for four medium creatures. If Sorry. one of them is a cat and two of them are small. Yeah, but it would Which be... Which sounds like you, a lead up to a bad joke. You would very much be knocking knees and kind of uncomfortable. Um, Look, I can fold it out into bigger once we get there. It's just that um, for the sake of not having to do, like, try to fit everyone into... Uh, try to rope everyone into row it and helping row um mm-hmm. that that that's sort of my thought is do um do the little boat um and then even if we sail out and then re summon and then refold it and do it into the big boat yeah plus we can always uh because i think our plan right now maybe is to go to are we staying on the ocean or going to a different part of the beach? Like a little further, like away from the city a little more? Because what are, what's the plan exactly? I think that's our plan is um, head to a less populated part of the beach. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, that'll be good. So it, it's okay a couple of minutes of uncomfy in the boat to get to. Yeah. And also, let's be uh, let let's be honest. Mo, uh, should Muggs choose, Muggs does not have to be in a seat seat. Muggs is definitely sitting on someone's lap. Possibly she's sitting on yeah. two laps. In fact, I would uh, say yeah. almost certainly she's, she's sitting leg- on two laps. She's just leg laying across the laps. Yeah. <laughs> She can land on Franzi and Pyra's legs. <laughs> that is exactly what she's doing right now. It's very obnoxious. And do you, uh, do, does a boat, ro- boat require rowing or? Yes, uh, Laura okay, will do that though. Okay, Pyro will also help. Yeah, because. All right. Um. So I think Laura actually leads you guys to a small pier. Um. Unclips the box from her belt. And murmurs a word with kind of rough consonants. Sets it down into the water, and you watch it rumble. And the top panels fold out and then keep folding out. And then it almost folds in half a side and sort of it clicks and shudders and becomes a not massive boat, but um, 10 feet long, four feet wide, and two feet deep. Oh, damn. You really did have a boat in there. Holy hell. What? <laughs> Iron Cat has jumped down from Robin's shoulder and is just sniffing everything. Mm-hmm. This is a very <laughs> new environment. Yeah. Seems to be boat-shaped. 
That boat is boat shaped. Sure is. <laughs> Magic boat shape. I'm pretty sure she's just yeah, like, we... you know that thing that cats do when they're bad at things that they don't know? Yeah. She's doing that to the boat. <laughs> the boat bobs. It is watertight. Uh, we got it a couple of years ago. Haven't you used it? Oh. Anyway, should still be in good condition. Mm. Damn. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so. I told you I would handle it. Yeah, you did. I was gonna tend to the least um, step in the boat. I will hop into the boat. <laughs> Law's gonna uh, take the, um, basically, oars. Uh, you sure do want help? I can take one of the oars if you want. Like, I don't mind helping. No? Yeah. Fair enough. I will help her out. Alright, yeah. You guys can do so pretty easily. I would like to say that Ira is the last on the boat and she's just <laughs> taking it a little tentative tentatively. There is a look of distrust on the cat's face. Yeah. Uh if you're close to the mast, you won't get his what? Can you say that again? Sorry. What was that? Can you say that again? Uh if you're close to the mast, you won't get as what? Arrow will leap in. And, and I think Law does, as you're hopping in, kind of give you distances to... She make sure cat. that the possibly blind cat's not full in the water. <laughs> that's okay. very helpful. Yeah, that's true. And she's not going to waste one of her blind sense on this. She just curled around the mast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. uh, let's see here. So, oh my God, I'm sorry. My brain is starting to fry, and it's only seven o'clock. Um, you guys are kind of able to paddle your way out into the ocean a little bit. And you're kind of enjoying yeah. the sun feels. It's actually, um, I think it was the day before it was a little bit overcast. Um, it is bright yeah. and sunny, and the sky is beautiful. There is a little bit of a breeze that makes the sun a little more bearable for those of you who aren't as accustomed to warmth as Pyra is. Uh, kind of enjoy the oh. expanse and the kind of gentle rocking of the ocean as you are paddled out and away from shore. We are gonna head, be heading back into shore, but preferably one that is less, that has yeah. less people. Yeah, no, I I am aware of that. <laughs> I would assume yeah. so. Um, but yeah. Just kind of describing the environment around you. Um, yeah. Yeah. You can hear kind of the the kind of sloshing of the waves against the side of your boat as you paddle. And I'm actually going to change the track. A because watch this around you like okay roll for initiative <laughs> how long are we going to be in the boat not very oh, long oh. that was a little bit loud apologies um you only paddle maybe 20 minutes at most um okay, okay. I'm, I'm kind of going off of like what I would have done um, during the summers with boating and stuff yeah. like that along rivers and things. Um, maybe 20 minutes you find off, like, as you're kind of rowing a little bit of, uh, along the uh, shoreline, you kind of see um, uh, off in the distance the city of Nicodranas um, and kind of the white buildings and the, the bright tapestries and um, let's see here. Uh, 
and you find a little bit of an outcropping a little bit or maybe some sort of like sandy peninsula uh of of sorts just kind of along um just a little bit past the rest of this wharf so you've kind of went down this way to kind of this edge over here i will mark it on the map right about here and um okay. There does seem to be a couple of people that have kind of um, set up shop in the vicinity of that area, but it does seem like it's not, like, a hugely populated area, and you very... <coughs> excuse me. You could very much make that your space to uh, relax. It seems quite quiet and comfortable. Seems like the tide is, uh, is calm. Yep. I kind of stretch. So is this where we're going to hang out, you think? Uh, seems as good as any. Yeah, it looks beautiful, honestly. Yep, yeah, you can make your way. Paddle your way back to shore. Oh my god, why is he so noisy? Anyways, um... You definitely can paddle your way to shore and uh, dock the boat. Um, there is no necessarily a dock to dock it at, but you can pull the the boat ashore and fold it back if you'd like. Um, I don't exactly remember. Yeah, what that's. On that thing. It doesn't seem to have one. Can I? S I'm gonna look at the specifics on folding boat. Hey, it's on low sheet. Yeah, yeah. I uh, this object appears as a wooden box that. Um, I, the one other thing I will mention about the boat is that, at the very least, the inside has been painted like multiple colors. Fine. Um. There, there, there's almost a kaleidoscopic pattern across the inside. Uh -huh. Nice. Um, like, at some point, someone took a lot of effort to paint this. It's a nice boat. <sighs> wow, folding boat busted. <laughs> yeah, no, it, you guess, only you only no. need it as a uh, command word. There is no uh, cooldown or anything. So, yep, yeah, yeah, uh, yes, but also no because it's like you do have to have someone who can row it, and it can yeah. still be boat. Mm. Um. Yeah. Yes, we got oh, we got it. Oh God. I think. That Mamari and me wanted off someone. Some did all the painting. Huh. Uh, they did a great job. Oh, like, yeah. Back. Damn. Yeah, she it was really good with the paintbrush. I've not seen many people go through this much work to actually paint a boat. I'm rather impressed. Honestly, I'm pretty sure it's mostly to keep her memory occupied so that memory got into less trouble. Mm. Uh, once everyone is out, Laura is going to <laughs> fold it back up and you watch it sort of Fold on the vertical twice, and then just click, 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 until it is once again just a small box. Has anybody tried to stay in the boat while it gets smaller? It doesn't. It it doesn't refold if you do. No. Okay. 
And if you're storing things in it, they get spat out if they are too big for the box. That's unfortunate. That would have been really useful just to have a whole boat's worth of stuff with you at all times. Isn't that what a bag of holding is for? I guess. Do you know what that is? I'm not gonna know what that is. Thinking on it. Boat in a bag of holding. And then you just got a whole boat in there. Tire boat. Boat. Boat on command. I don't... No. I can't, I can't remember whether or not Robin has mentioned that Ira has a bag of holding. <laughs> I don't know either, honestly. I feel like it I was think, mentioned yeah, during the whole we thing. We the sword yeah, from the Merilith in there. Yeah, and because the party knows. Yeah. Parts of the wolf, too, I think. Yeah, yeah I did stick, like, three wolves in there. <laughs> yeah, I think... Yeah, because I think I, Ira herself uh, offered to let us use the bag at some point. Or I, something. Something like that. Or, yeah, sure. something like that. I forgot. Something happened. Either way, we know about the bag somehow. And we're the not- knowledge exists. None of us are ever to- <laughs> Also, Ira Cat is currently batting at the sand- Like, like she jumped off last, so it was clear that everyone else was getting off the boat. Um, and it's like, are they in like the wet sand part or the dry sand part? It would have been pulled up into the dry Presumably? sand. Yeah, we would have pulled it up into the yeah. dry sand, yeah. Yeah, she's just- she is batting at the sand as a cat, just confused. Mm. And then she's going to turn back into Ira and is in pretty much the same position and just like touching the sand, trying. Later in the day, it gets very nice and warm. Um, if you're still inclined. Uh, we had a friend of. Oh quite a while back. Similar skills to yours. It wasn't always a cat, so apparently the sand gets a bit too in the fur. Uh, but he was very fond of turning into a hound and just sprawling out in the sun. Into a hound? A dog. Era. Apparently it was easier to Avoid getting sand everywhere? I don't know. I'm not. I am not a mage. I uh, kind of just like sits back for a second, uh, and tilts her head, and then turns into a wolf. <laughs> a bit bigger than thought, but yes. The sand won't get as deeply in, and it's easier to shake off, apparently. Well, I am going okay, out into the water. Second. There is a hesitant second before she experiments and just rolls around in the sand and then shakes it off. And then she does it again. <laughs> and again. I love her <laughs> so love fucking much. Uh, when, sand bath for Ira. When uh, Mara said she's going to go to the water, Pyro will look at Mara, then look at Mugs, then look at the water, and look back oh, at right. Mugs. And then, huh? Oh, right. Yeah. And then Pyro, you know, give <laughs> her a look. Surreptitiously. <laughs> is it water time? Muggs is fully distracted watching Ira roll around in the sand. My, uh, oh. Pyro will, making sure I, uh, she's distracted, Pyro will mouth at Amer. Amer now? Question mark? I nod. <laughs> So, can Law also get in on helping with this? Please do. I have eight strength. Yeah. 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 I feel She'll like just... Franzia is is most definitely like preoccupying herself with the food basket. <laughs> I'll I'll find yeah. Franzia as well. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, it's Pyro fine. will look Laura at has uh, eighteen strength. She can just hop. Yeah, Pyro will look at uh uh Laura, then then uh, like. Like point like to one half of mugs, and then uh, then uh, Pyro like points the other. Tari's points the other, and as them like you get you get one arm, I'll get the other kind of thing. Yep. And oh, yeah, no. then 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 she just nods, so just like now. 
Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> God. Um, Do oh, I roll uh, something to I was to, gonna say yeah, roll got... perception, just to see if you're caught off guard. And the, okay. the two of you roll, um... Uh, ro roll sleight of hand checks. Uh, uh, that's a 16 perception. I got a 20 sleight of hand. <laughs> oh, boy, that's, that's a 12, nice. but hopefully with the 20 we have enough kind of buffering. Yeah. Um, I'd say, Lorelai, you make up for it with strength. You aren't as sneaky as Pyra is, but Muggs is more preoccupied with the dog thing than uh, with the sneak attack that you and Pyra had planned. You are able to grab Muggs by either arm, catching her off guard. Then we grab her to the water. Then we grab her to the water. The yeah, into the water. Just gonna chuck her into the water? Yeah, and then dive in right after her. <laughs> Alright! Uh, Laura's not immediately diving in. Um, she is going to divest herself of the sundress first, but... Yeah. Muggs is gonna try and grab Pyra as soon as she's in the water after her. Go for it. <laughs> make, make an attack roll. An unarmed attack. Uh, an attack roll? <laughs> Fuck. Just to see uh, if you can right. grab, grab, or dex, it's fine. Uh, attack roll. 18? Let me roll an acrobatics to see if I can block. No, I can't. I got an 8. Yeah, no. <laughs> you, at the very last minute, are able to grab Pyra basically around the neck and drag her down into the water with you. You are going down with me, hand in unlovable hand. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, yeah, so Muggs is basically just like, oh, motherfucker, you're getting soaked if I'm in this water right now. You best stop. <laughs> splish, splash, we're oh, taking God. a fucking bath. Exactly. I just like and then uh, Pirate just laughs and then takes a deep breath and boom, goes underwater. Hmm. With, uh, with Muggs <laughs> still holding on to her. Muggs is. I this is like. I actually wouldn't have tossed them too deep. Because. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah this is probably. Uh, that's this is probably just Pyra laying down. Uh, like, uh, just throwing them in the. Thro like, falling backwards so they're both in the water. It's like Muggs, going underneath. Muggs, fantastic. <laughs> I was gonna say. Muggs is. Sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say. I, it's giving me the vibes of, like, you're at the forefoot end of a pool, but you're, like, trying to make it like you're swimming. You just dunked yourself yeah. under it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Muggs is re throw like re reminiscing on all those days she tried and failed to wrestle gators, and is uh, <laughs> is is treating this situation like that. Shallow water, <laughs> opponent much larger than you, lots of fun. Risk of death slightly lower here. Wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> She's fucking get, wrestling, boys. You're not gonna get death rolled either. It's true. <laughs> Probably. Um. Probably. Probably. Amy, I have a question. Yeah. Pyra's hair, because it's like glowy and hot, does it sizzle in the water? Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. I would. You know, I feel like that would be an interpretation for you if you'd like. I, in I my... said, yeah. I said, I said yes. Okay. Because <laughs> what I was thinking was like, um, it probably would have done that, or like at the very least diminished the glow a little bit. Maybe, maybe no fire or smoky bits, but uh, diminished glow. <laughs> yeah, sizzles once she hits under the water, but then it's like a little less glowy. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Eventually, Franzia kind of like sets the stuff aside after it's been taken, um, kind of like set down and stuff like that, and then we'll kind of, like, wade into the water a little bit. Uh, yeah. Um, Law has divested of the sundress, so he's in. I'm honestly gonna vibe with the green one that you sent. Yeah. 
Um, you can see there are significantly more scars visible now. There's, um, she's got a long, jagged one basically down the line, um, basically between sort of her shoulder and her neck and going down. There's one that looks distinctly like something took a chomp out of her. And there's a few other smaller ones, but those are like the big noticeable. Okay. As soon as Franzia is also in the water, Muggs is going to let go of Pyra and like <laughs> point and be like, you know, yeah. and then go to try and tackle Franzia into the water. Oh, Pyra boy. will uh, try and go from underneath, like duck underwater and then just, like try and like swim her way towards Franzia and get her from below. What do we roll? Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. Um, Law has also had it into the water. Um, do I need another attack roll? Yeah. Do I also need an attack roll? Attack. I'm gonna. I'll roll. Okay. <laughs> that was a nine. Oh no! So that oh, wasn't no. too good. I'm gonna roll. I got that twenty-three. <laughs> That's a natural one from Franzia. Both of you fucking get her. She's not yeah. expecting to be fucking got by you. She just looks a little bit amused, and then all of a sudden she is just taken over by you boys. Get dogs done. She gives like a squawk of like, oh god! <laughs> and just falls the fuck over. Um, you know I had to do it, do you? <laughs> she ends gotcha. up splashing you in the face. <laughs> that, nope, that's fair. Uh... Pyra starts shaping water, spl splash you both in the face. She's got hands. She does. She's got hands. <laughs> It is Mara joining the chocolate fox in the water. Um, I'm gonna watch for a little bit while this is going on. Um, she's taking her jacket and stuff off. Um, I guess the only one that has noticed. Um, the only one that I think would notice because of the visible thing. Um, she doesn't take the necklace off that she's been wearing, but she takes the rest of her mostly stolen jewelry off. Uh, no, yeah. yeah, you'll also note Pyra does not take off a necklace herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Laura would notice that Mare is, like, slowly undoing maybe, like, a dozen or so bracelets that definitely don't match. You would have uh, seen yeah, yeah, enough. <laughs> Imagine her, like, wearing candy raver bracelets now. <laughs> <laughs> They're, like, some of them are like really nice bracelets. There's a couple of them that are like definitely like just embroidery floss, like little friendship bracelets. They've been stolen. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Um, but the necklace around her neck is just like a leather cord, and there is um, a little very old looking key that's hanging off of it. Um, well, I'm yeah. going to go disappear. Uh, for a minute. Hey, Ira, when you're not a dog, if you want to go in the water, I'll go with you. Like, bark or something? Or if you want to go in now? I don't know. It's fun. Uh, dog Ira has finished rolling around. <laughs> and is... <laughs> uh, and is going to, like, Add up to the water and just sort of sniff at it and get really surprised when the tide pulls in closer than when she than what she originally had calculated. Hmm. The water <laughs> just keeps going basically for forever. Um, yeah. It's just um. Hey, DM. 
Oh, go ahead. Oh, wait, wait, I was finishing that. I was gonna say, it's like you just get the, 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 the dog, like, head turn thing. Hmm. I am also, I've never interacted with a dog in my life and has no idea what that implies. That means they're confused, right? When they hit tilt their head? I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't speak. Okay, yeah. Also, can, uh, can Lord make an, a, a perception, a retroactive perception check? She does seem pyro with his bikini and the necklace on. And the cowboy hat, of course. Let's see what you get. Okay. And you would see, baby. you would see this. Uh, she's wearing one of these. Squint. Give me a second. Interesting. Um, I, I also do think that Law left the little um wide bracelet you guys would have seen her wearing. I think that would have been left sort of on the sundress. Okay. Um, it, 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 it's slightly it, whatever is on the leather seems to be slightly iridescent. Um, hey DM, mm. I'm looking at this and it doesn't seem to say that it is combat specific. So, but... can, mm, I don't, no, I think she wants to do this. Um, can Law summon an echo and then both her and e uh, the echo splash mugs? Send you a manifest echo? Yeah, um, so I'm not exactly sure what they can do, because I didn't look exactly into it either. Because I'm an irresponsible which DM. I'm, it's okay, it's okay. I am only doing this because Matt did not make it have a um limited number of uses. Mm -hmm. Um... So, uh, I'll describe it uh, if you will let me get away with it. Let's see. I have PM'd it to you. Yep, I'm taking a look see. Uh, actually, I want to chat what it takes to dismiss it. Uh, or until you dismiss it as a bonus action. Okay, so it'll still be around for at least a second. Yeah, I'd let you do it. This is mostly showing combat-specific things, but I would let you use it. Yeah, Prob it's... Yeah. It's um, not meant to be used in a way that... I know! I know! That, that's part of why Law's doing it, is... It um, is physical, technically. So, there is um, a moment where Law kind of pauses and tilts her head, and a little bit to the side of her, the water ripples and shimmers before it is kind of pushed aside as a silvery... Um, it has a very sort of silvery monochrome version shows up. Where with the same kind of slightly delighted, um, cheeky grin. The biggest difference you can see is that that one, the haircut is, um, the side that is buzzed is the opposite side. Um... Should I just make two unarmed attacks, like, against the water to try and splash Mugs, or should I just say that... You can... I would say Mugs would have to, uh, make, like, a dexterity save. Yeah. To try and get I, out of the way of the two... water. There's no need for you to frickin' attack the okay. water. <laughs> I just wanted to water. verify. I just wanted to verify. Yeah, no, um, it's fine. <laughs> as from two sort of diagonal from mugs, 
there are two splashes coming at uh, going at her. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Dex save. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Okay. Dex save. I'm good at dex saves. Not that good. 16. Nine plus seven. Um, what is... I would say... What was the thing? Hold on, I want to take a look-see in your... Crap, you sent it to me here. Um... Um, so it technically has, like, your... Stuff, Yeah, right? it uses my... Yeah. Um... Just roll me a d20 and then add your, um, unarmed attack, I think? Okay, Just to see so if you're able to beat the dexterity save. Bruh. That's a 19. Yeah. Bruh. You are McSplash, <laughs> my friend. I just got fucking McSplashed. Splish Splash in the ocean. Is and I'm turn. sure if anyone turns, they can see two Lorelei's, one now somewhat more, uh, one monochrome and silvery. Bruh. Oh, damn, that's cool. Is that like, uh, spell? What was that? I, uh, I was like, oh, is that, that's cool, is that a spell? It just says before the, I think it would disappear by now, right? The, uh, illusion? Or uh. the... Like, it's not an illusion. Um, it would no, actually it, be. It, it stays not, basically it, until ah! law dismisses it. Oh, yeah, I know it's not. I just forgot the word for it. Um, yeah. Give me one uh, second, yeah. Um, so, hmm? as you kind of manifest that echo, um, what's her. What are all of your insights? Eight. Eight. Uh, 17. 13? Twelve? You mean passive? Yes. Sixteen. Okay. Oh, sorry, no, eighteen. Wrong one. <laughs> Fantastic. Listen, what is the point of she bullshit dunamancy so abilities if you don't use them to fuck so, around? So, all of you, including those with the eight insight notice uh franzia get very very stiff ah shit and she uh, is shit. i think laura immediately dismisses it are you okay it was did i ever step a line where did you learn She has, like, moved herself between, uh, Pyra and, um, Muggs at this point. Kind of is taking a little bit of a defensive stance at this point. I will, uh, put a hand on Franzia's shoulder and grip it and say, Are you doing okay, Franzia? What's wrong? Last time I saw something like that, I nearly died. I swear to you that I do not mean harm. I... It's something I picked up about... a year and a half ago? It was not my original skill set. It is... It's a connection to other nows. At least that's how I've always understood it, is it's a connection to other nows. She doesn't seem to necessarily relax, but she does kind of like... She doesn't seem to be... She... She's not aggravating anything. She's just... 
a lot more cautious than she was a couple of minutes ago. Yeah. Um, if this would help, I cannot do it again unless we're in a fight. Uh, unless we are in a fight. As long as it doesn't come to that. Uh, I will question. not draw my blade against you unless I feel I am in danger. Uh, what was it, Riley? Uh, I was gonna ask if that is because Mir uh, Mir is mumbling what just happened to Ira. Would Ira have any have absolutely any idea of what what it what that kind of magic that Laura just did is? Either a history check or a religion check. All right, they're both the same. Okay. Uh, Eleven. A what? Eleven. Also, actually, because of Pirate's Pass, I think I should roll for this too, right? Uh, I I'd let you roll history for that, Pyra. Um, Ira, you you can't place it. There's something about it that nags at you, but mm, you you can't fit it. Maybe it's some sort of story uh. you heard a long time ago. A some sort of shadowy creature, you're not sure. Alter selves, uh, maybe? You're not sure. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, 18 is not sure? No, that was um, for me. That, oh, okay. Yeah, that was for, um, 18. <sighs> Considering what you know, Pyra, this sort of Oh, she didn't really use a whole bunch of anything, though. It very I mean, much strikes Dunamancy. you as Dunamancy, though, yes. You would know that at the very least when when talking about, um... I think Lore said something about do, uh, fates or something? Other nows. Other nows, that's what it was. And she said, yeah. Um, and that strikes and the, you as... Well, I don't know if it came through, but she did emphasize other nows. She emphasized nows. Um, and that would strike a chord to you, Pyra, as maybe Dunamancy? But this is a technique you're not necessarily familiar with. It, it wouldn't have been something you would have been introduced to, necessarily. So you're not exactly sure what this is that Lorelai can do. But it does strike you as Dunamancy magic. Yep, I will just say, uh, that's I don't know. That might have been what it was called. I my teacher didn't explain very much about how it worked, only how to do it. I can do something. I was taught a bit of the magic in school. And Pyra will hold her hand above her head, flick her wrist and cast wrist wrist, wrist pocket, and have her book reappear in her hand. This, for example, the spell I just used is such a spell. I also have access to one that can alter futures, but it's a kind of too costly for my level. I don't know anything about futures. I How did you I know now? Well, it's not really it unlocks potentials, other timelines, um, you know. Uh, How did so you learn? Similar. But who taught you this? I this kind of stuff is rare and unusual magic. I developed the ability... It, can we have this conversation on shore? It feels a little awkward to have while well, I'm up to my neck in water. Yes, I will let you confiscate my, confiscate my blade for now if it will help you feel better. 
Uh, yeah, sure. One second. You see, like, he winces, and then bends down, picks up a crab that was stuck, grabbed her toe, then she tosses the crab. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and I think with that, we're gonna end it, because I need to go fucking sleep and shower and shit. Um, yeah. but... uh, the, the one thing that I will add is Lord Osgar, I am trusting that this will not reach the people who would see me dead for this. This is Nicodranus, it's not the Empire. You'll not. Also, how's Franzia looking right now? With my, I only have eight insight, but you she, know, how can I be looking with any, my seventeen insight? Any okay? So what you would notice, Pyro, with your eight, any massage and relaxation you had given her the night before did not keep. She is tense again. Okay. Um, what is your insight, uh, Mugs? Seventeen. Seventeen. Um. You recognize in her face very much that she most likely recognizes what Lorelai can do. Mm -hmm. And the look on her face very much reminds you of probably times when you had thought back to the past. And so basically, I see some PTSD there. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Very much, she looks a bit unfocused and a little bit, um... I think, I think Muggs would have tried to sort of pull Franzia a little bit away from that conversation, seeing that Pyrus sort of had that under control there, just to sort of give her some... Yeah. And as Pyra walks away with, uh, with Lore, she'll just look back at, uh... Friends, yeah, and mugs, and give a like little nod, and just smile. Be right back. Yeah. All right. With that, I think we can call it for the night. <laughs>